they say. As they say. Make no mistake where you are. Your back's to the corner. Don't be a fool anymore. The waiting is over. It's over. You make the choice of how it goes. Is it okay? And it's not up to me this time. It's me and all of y'all. Comes a time in every life where well, this is it. Comes a time, y'all. So I just want to say, first of all, first and, first and foremost, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, I promised all my young people that I would do um, the importance of this video, the voting. Okay, because, you know, y'all know how I feel about Kamala Harris. I, it's no secret. However, uh, I, I can't sit out. And this, this election, in my opinion, is bigger than me. Okay? Now, because we have, we're, we're so, as uh, in terms of ADOS, in terms of black folk here in America, we are so angry because we late to the dance and it's okay we just been free not even a, i mean mentally we ain't even been free for uh 50 60 years really i mean we just got the right to vote back here in the 60s i was born okay i was a child so my point is this y'all I don't deal with old fools, because that's really difficult. You can't hardly change your old fool. But anybody that would tell you to sit out this election, this election of all the ones we have set out, uh, we have, um, in my opinion, been like, uh, as far as reparations, that's an idea whose time has come. Okay, we already know that. It's on the move. What you should be asking us in this interim of that is, how many of y'all know that that is, your, are you willing to die? Because that's the question. Not all this fancy shit, I'm going to stay home and blah, blah, blah. No. Are you willing to die for reparations? Because that's what it's going to take. Not something as easy as sitting on your damn couch. Okay, second of all, how many of y'all are even educated to the, how many of y'all even understand how civic works? Are you high, you know, and this is no disrespect, are you a high school graduate? Are you a college graduate? Have you even attended any of those in institutions? Are you ignorant to, to politics? Because most of my people which is black people, are very ignorant to politics. We think once we vote one time and we the person win, then all our dreams come true. And that's not even how this shit works. It's not how it works. Politics is the only thing, the only thing that's ongoing, consistent, in season and out of season. So when I listen to us talk about, yeah, these politics, politicians only come to our church during election time, that's because we let them. That's because we let them. We invite them. They ain't just walking up in our damn churches. How silly are we? So we got to, first of all, we got to grow up and be educated voters. Reparations is an idea whose time has come. Anytime I, my whole problem was I wanted an open campaign. Uh, during the Democrat convention, I wanted to see um, uh, uh, other candidates up there because y'all know who I have an affinity for, Marion Williamson. Anytime you can get over a thousand people in arenas, in big places, 
to say, I'm sorry, black people, forgive me, for, and we owe you reparations. I know that's the right candidate because I know where that candidate heart is. I know for a fact that's something that uh, Kamala Harris has not done. In fact, I'm just upset the way she said it. No. Let me be perfectly clear. I'm not going to do anything. But I'm going to take that as her being ignorant. This was her, that was her first run at the rodeo. Because, see, we're an idea whose time has come. <coughs> she can't stop it. But what you can do is stop yourself by not voting at all. Talking about, because this is going to be your last election. Donald Trump done already told you. And some of y'all are so stupid, I can't even deal with you. I can't, even, I can't believe that my people are so damn crazy that would even talk about voting for Donald Trump. Y'all, those of y'all who do this, we, we can't afford y'all no more anyway. Because y'all just too ignorant. And you bringing the whole race down with your, with your uh, idiocracy. I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. Okay? Somebody that's already told you I'm going to do away with elections if I'm a president. Ain't going to be no more go to the poll. Y'all think that's a fear mongering? That, that's what y'all think that is? Or do you think that's a crazy white dude that's going to do just what he said when, if he got enough white supremacists behind him, they'll pull it off. And your black ass talking about some reparations, you going to be put in jail and flogged just for asking. Just for moving. Own it. Okay? They going to do away with any protesting. And you know we've been protesting too long. That's going to be hard for us to stop. It's the American way, but he going to do away with the Constitution. He didn't told you that. What, you don't believe him? Well, my sister told me, whose birthday I share, when people tell you who they are, when they show you who they are, believe them. Now, who in their right mind don't, don't, don't agree with that? Believe them. If your friend tell you, I don't steal, I don't steal, and you fall for the banana in the tailpipe and you leave your money on the counter and you go in another room or go somewhere else and you come back and your money gone and he said he didn't do it, he or she didn't do it, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to be like, ain't nobody been in here but me and you. Unask my money. Because you already know. Who stole it? Okay? So, I mean, this this is how elementary this we have to get for some of our people. They don't they didn't have civics in school. So a lot of y'all think that because you think it, so shall it be. I've been a a, a paying member of ADOS um and been listening to uh Yvette Carnell Tone Talks. I think since about 2017, 2016, somewhere around up in there. I realized that what Yvette talking about is we have to be willing to die. Most of us ain't willing to die. We ain't willing to die. Are you kidding me? We talk a good game. We talk tough. But when this shit hit the fan, uh-uh. Uh-uh. We ain't ready for that. I'm ready. Okay. I realize I got much more life behind me than I got in front of me, okay? But I got grandkids. I don't I don't want them to inherit a world that I have. Do y'all know about the aborigines? Do you know about black people in all these towns and countries? We talk about how they wiped them out. And y'all think that we exempt because we in America. Can you see what they're doing over in Israel right now? The Palestinians is us. It's us. They got us locked in these ghettos all over the country. So when they get ready to pull it, they already know where we at. Right? And some of y'all so silly. You still talking shit like, oh, well, they ain't going to get me. Or they ain't going to. Listen. In America is a format. Okay? 
you have to understand that your demonstrations have to equal legislation. Otherwise, don't even demonstrate because it ain't getting nowhere. I've already heard people say, I hope these Negroes don't get out there and march today. When somebody, I hope they don't get out there without nothing behind it. And that's what we do. We do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again without a structure, without a plan. I'm telling you right here and right now, I'm going to give Kamala Harris my vote. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care what nobody say. Because I'm wise enough to know that the only way I'm going to get what I want for my grandbabies is to have the opportunity to vote again. And you don't have to hit me on the head with a damn club to know that somebody that's trying to kill the Constitution don't want a woman to even have IVF, let alone abortion. So if I got a a topic pregnancy or miscarriage, I can't even get none of this shit. Because these handmaiden tail fools who have taken over have been appointed. These judges and people have been appointed by Donald Trump. And y'all mean to tell me y'all don't think Donald Trump is crazy? Who don't think Donald Trump is crazy, is stupid, a, a psycho, a raging psychopath, a narcissistic, raging psychopath? That and none of y'all see that. Y'all, that's stupid. That you can afford to sit home and say, "Well, let me just see what's gonna happen." You ain't finna get no reparations like that, no way. Okay, you gotta have another. You gotta have another election in order to see. What you going to do these four years when you put Kamala in there? Put her feet to the fire. I don't want to hear nothing about Barack Obama. That day is done and it's over. We learned our mistakes from Barack Obama. We've been slaves for over 400 years and y'all think y'all finna take two voting cycles and be free? That's what y'all really think? See, and that go to show you how sad, but this devil has always got a plan. And that's why he took civics out of school, so y'all will be dumb to how it works. You will be dumb to how it even operates. Most of us are not even policy driven. We're not politically educated. So, we shouldn't be in a position where we're giving somebody some advice. Just give your own self some advice, because... If you haven't had civics and none of these young people have had civics, then I can't get no informed decision from you. You too dumb. I'm just going to kill like it is. You too dumb. Okay? I've seen what uh, uh, um, Kamala Harris said. Y'all know why I didn't, I didn't want to vote for her. But at the same time, I've listened to all this stuff, what everybody said about her in, in California. Which half of it is 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 not even true. They're not giving you the whole story. I know about the girl that went out in the, in the uh, 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 night and got ate up. But how many of y'all know how much Mike Brown's murder affected Kamala? I don't hear y'all talking about that. I don't, I don't hear y'all talking about the changes that she put in the policy and help in California due to her... Uh, uh, um, feeling about that Mike Brown killing. You don't hear about that. Okay? You don't hear about, y'all talk about all she let the, the prisoners go uh, do the fire. Listen, every day, the, the, the prisoners in my state clean the roads. They do everything. With, that's what happens when you're a, a, a prisoner. Slavery was is abolished unless... So when you get yourself in storage, honey, you are a damn slave. So if they get you out there to fight fires, I'm not saying that is right. I'm saying it is what it is. In my town, we don't have forest fires. We got other things that happen. We got snow that need to be plowed that sometimes grow up four and five feet. Who you think do it? Got the prisoners. So that happens in every city. 
Okay? Because that's what prisoners do. That's what they do. Now, if you got yourself behind the eight ball and you in that situation, at least Kamala Harris put some policies in place where if you was a low-level drug person, they'd give, should give you an opportunity to go to treatment. They had night court, something we don't even have here, drug court. A lot of people mad at her because she took away, uh, um, uh, let a lot of people go on the no bail because we already know a lot of our people suffer because we can't post bail. But that don't mean she knew when she let him out of jail we was going to betray her and our families and everybody else by committing crimes again. So look how that make her look in her administration. She let these people out and they go right out and with the recidivism rate go right back to jail because they didn't commit another crime. So they blame that on Kamala Harris. But I see behind that. I see she tried to give some brothers and some sisters an opportunity. If you got a drug problem, let me clean you up. If you can't make bail, I'm going to do away with that. And this is the thanks y'all she y'all giving her right now. We can't keep getting killed by the police. So if we bring that to her right now, I I would take that as an off. Listen, reparations is a time an idea whose time has come. Let's get that in our minds first. The first thing I would want her to do is do something about this qualified immunity. Which Donald Trump said, if he is president, he don't care if your black ass get killed. Everybody, any cop that kill you, going to get off. Ain't going to be no more charging them with murder. Like what's happening with the sister over here in Detroit, Massey. Forget about all that. You do it, you do it. So what? The cop got qualified immunity. That's what y'all want to hear? That sounds good to you. You can say what you want to about Sleepy Joe. We had an American rescue plan under Joe. I could look out my windows and see all the infrastructure work going on. Nobody cared about these big ass potholes in our streets until he came and said, we got to do something about the infrastructure. He had black people in his cabinet. You, Donald Trump don't have none. And y'all stupid enough to say, especially y'all, some of y'all black men, that he could wait, wait, and then got the nerve to make fun of y'all, and y'all still caping for his ass. All his, oh, uh, he ain't got diamond and silk no more because one of them died. You ain't even heard him say, oh, I'm sorry, uh, had diamond and silk. He like, oh, fuck them niggas, let's go to the next one. So he put two rappers up there that talk about nothing but craziness, and this is who you want to represent y'all. I don't want that shit representing me. If y'all want that representing y'all, fine. I don't want that representing me. Because as far as Donald Trump is concerned, with them sneakers and his mindset and his mugshot on a shirt, this man think that, and he wants us to be comfortable. Comfortable. With ignorance, with being used for fodder, for setting us up as the most ignorant people on the planet. And that's far from truth, honey, because we gave mathematics, science, literature, everything to the world. But let Donald Trump tell it. We all just mass criminals. And he the biggest criminals out, criminal out there. Everything is projection. Total immunity for the police. Anybody that say something like that, should, and you know we the only ones getting killed by police left and right, that would be enough for me to say, uh, don't think you're the one. Now, y'all going to do what you want to do, and I get it. We can't keep getting killed by the police. And in my opinion, and in my opinion, we done went this far. Y'all don't know that demonstration equal legislation if you got a plan. You can't just get out there all willy-nilly, march, march time, march, march. That's like a damn drill team. Every time somebody get killed, we like a drill team. No plan, no policy, nothing in place. 
just our raw emotion. And I'm going to tell you something right now. We got to grow up from that. If you don't know how politics work, you don't need to be up in it in the first place because you're going to do the wrong thing with your vote. You can't. This Voting is not just about ADOS. First, sometimes you got to think about, can I save the country? So I can get my point across. And I guarantee you, if you elect Donald Trump, that's going to be the end of America as you know it. But they know we stupid enough that we will sit out. <laughs> and we'll cut off our own noses and spite our face because we vote for personalities. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like I don't like Trump or his administration. I don't like none of them. Steve Bannons and the uh the the other little crazy dead looking dude. I mean, all these people. Look, his own attorney general who was willing to ride or die for Trump until he saw Trump wasn't going to leave office. First, he was down for it, whatever Trump wanted to do. But that go to show you he had some kind of principle. He had some kind of moral. He said, let me quit this shit. I can't do this. Am I going to give him credit for that? Y'all think? He had to get distance himself from Donald Trump. He's a Donald Trump is a pariah. All these people getting ready to go to jail for him. Rudy Giuliani got sued for him. What's the woman's name? The one that started talking about the the, the uh, voting machines. All them going to jail for Donald Trump. Or they're going to work out some kind of plea bargain. And we stupid. You think we can afford that? To put a monster like that, a rapist, back up in office? Y'all sick? And I'm going to say this and then I'm going to go. Anybody who would vote for somebody that is that devoid of character and morals and just decency, anybody that would vote for them must be a fool. So I'm not talking to y'all out there. I ain't talking to you at all. I'm talking to the ones that don't know, like my young cousins that wanted me to talk about this. I didn't have time over the week because I been I had a busy, busy week, okay? Um, but I want to give this universal message to my cousins, my little cousins, the young people I work with because they look to hear from me. And that's the best advice I can give y'all is don't sit out. Don't let nobody tell you to sit out because... Or what they going to do for us. Don't do not do that. Or you going to find your ass sitting out for the rest of your life. Because it ain't going to be no more votes. He didn't already told you this is the last time you going to vote. You think he won't do it? Are you that silly to think he won't do it? A man that wanted to shoot immigrants from crossing over the... And before y'all start acting like everybody that's a Democrat... Like that stuff that went on in the opening ceremony of the Olympics. You're sick. That's a few, a real, like a real small percentage of madness. People that have hid behind the uh, Democratic Party. Democratic Party. Because when the when the uh, 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 Republican convention was here, all them freaks was serving those um, uh, uh, uh people at that convention I'm not saying allegedly and I'm not saying who I'm saying it happened cause I know things okay and I know that a lot of those Republicans were serviced okay cause see they the party of hypocrites they love them drag queens and all them things like don't let them fool you like it's such an aberration for them. They love it. So, and I'm not saying nothing disparage, uh, to disparage uh, drag queens. What I'm saying is, I don't want nobody talking out the side of their neck, talking about, oh, I can't stand this. This is re uh, responsible for, uh, uh, they responsible for everything that's wrong on earth. And then you the main one behind closed doors supporting him. I can't stand hypocrisy like that. Okay. So again, young people, anybody that's under the sound of my voice, 
Don't sit out this election. Don't let nobody convince you to sit out. If you don't vote in no election, vote this one. You see the momentum? Can't you read the signs of the time? Can't you see it shifting? Forget about what people are saying with their mouth. You see all them white people stood up and about they forgive. You see those, uh, uh, talking about they for, forgive them for slavery. I wish Marion Williamson could run. But I know there's a considerable amount of white folk that know we should be compensated for our pain. I know that. So I'm going to stay on that. And I'm going to stay on. We got to put Kamala's feet to the fire. She She's not going to be in a position to say that. No. Let me be perfectly clear. I'm not going to say I'm going to do anything that uh, benefits them. She's not going to be in a position to say that no more. And guess what? We coming. We coming. We come in. But don't try to get it all today. In this next election. In the next 99 days. Don't vote for Trump. Or it's over. It's the last election you will ever have. He told me. And I believe him. He said he wanted to kill the Constitution. I believe him. He didn't already help get rid of Roe versus Wade. None of y'all got no business in women's bodies. None of y'all. None of y'all males got no business dealing with women and their reproductive organs. Why don't... I don't understand. If Because if I was in, in politics, I'd have to come up with some legislation for men's peens. I really would. Yeah. All of them have to either get a vasectomy or I'll do something to them. That is worse or equal to what they doing, trying to do to women. This ain't no hands made in tail. This ain't no damn joke. Get your hand and your mouth and your eyeballs off my body and what I do with it. What kind of craziness is that? Now you want to bring back something that ain't been a part of culture for over 50 years. My granddaughter going to have less reproductive rights than me? Uh-uh. No, you don't have the you don't have the right to do that, cause and second of all, ain't no woman gonna have no baby she don't want, especially not by her uncle, her uh, rapist neighbor, her. Uh, uh, is y'all stupid? Yeah, I guess you are. Anyway, I'm off my rant. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. If you don't, down click it, hate, but subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for listening.